this lady, notice my word again, lady who has been wait, waiting is coming to teach us a very important lesson. Miss Lady, please come in. I want you to come in and I want you to introduce yourself. I want you to say your name. Okay. Greetings to everyone, dear. Thank you. Is this Carol? This is Carol. This is, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. nice Pleasure. to meet you virtually. Of course, I am a Fua Cooper. I'm no, 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 no. I'm not going to stand for that. I want the full <laughs> name. Okay. Actually, you were coming to teach us something. <laughs> okay. Um, so, she want the full title. It's Dr. Yes, full name. Na Afua Dada St. Cooper. Does I'm, that sound um, like somebody who has come here with a mission? <laughs> you know, in their Khan tradition and many of the indigenous traditions of our people, name are not given idly, you know. Name right. are not given idly. This is a name with a purpose. So indeed. then. Indeed. So the Dada Senate actually means steel pot. You know, that those three three legged pot we, we have in Jamaica. You could yes. Well, in Ghana, they have the same three legged pot, but it's yes. steel and you can cook soup and any kind a thing any kind of food but it's also a metaphor for um when when i was living in here i said to the people them lord god no could give me a soft name steel pot it means like that's right woman so they said no you're you're that a sense so <laughs> this is what i mean so the lady coming to teach us a lesson and we should not reach our presentation yet. this is just a lesson she <laughs> before the presentation just because yeah. let me tell you something when you have a name like that, it is not unusual that you're, you're cross-appointed to in the university where she works. She's mm -hmm. cross-appointed. Did you hear that? Yeah. Cross-appointed. You ever hear that before, my brother? Everybody. Cross-appointed to what? Everybody wants Departments of History and Sociology and Social Anthropology, Faculty of Graduate oh. Studies, Gender and Women's Studies in the Great Dalhousie University in Canada. <laughs> no. She blazing Thank you. I heard this lady's name long before I met her, and every time I heard her name, not to mention that she named her fool. Mm. Hey. <laughs> so you see, our names are spelt the same, but the pronunciation is a little different because I carry the Asante pronunciation of that name. Oh, how do you pronounce your name? Afia. Afia, okay. So yeah. I don't use it because people don't say it well, so I, I use the other part of Ufia. So okay. I use so it's actually Afia Fofie. So I know you're a strong warrior woman, you know, yes. because we we share names, and you know it's such an important lesson because when we walk this earth and as diaspora people, there are many battles we have to fight, and one of the battles we should fight is a battle for our names. It we cannot really claim good. claim Africa without claiming our names. There's a way we're in the diaspora. We're fighting against discrimination, and we're fighting other. But when we embrace our our names, there's a power that that gives us that. Indeed. Thank you. My sister, please proceed. I greet you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And I want to say with all what's happening now, you know, with the, uh, George Floyd, I call it the George Floyd effect and people marching and demonstrating and statues toppling and all of that. The, the cultural terrain is also critical. So your point about the name is, is, um, is, is so huge. And it's something that we've been dealing with for the past 200 years. But I think now here's mm -hmm. another moment we, we ought to put that on the agenda as part of the whole cultural struggle for our names. Um, for their names. Yeah, so the poem I'm gonna read for, for um, Captain Quo is, it's called Rara, R-A-R-A. -A -R -A. Um, uh, as you know, Rara is an, is an art form, is a musical form that was invented right. in Haiti, but which also came from Benin or Dahomey. And, um, it's the fun people. The fun people. Ra Ra is music, it's drumming, it's art, it's rituals, it's it's a culture in its own self. And four years ago I was in Martinique and it was Carnival. I just happened to be on the island at Carnival and there were all these Ra Ra bands. So um running um just playing out marching all over the island. So then I as a poet I thought, well, what's happening here? Um, there's just something more than people playing music in in Martinique. So, when you guys ready? <laughs> We're right with you. Yeah, so when you guys ready. Yeah, I was saying, I was thinking it's, it's more than just people marching and playing music. A whole lot of here. So that, here's a poem. And the poem is set all over the world, in particular the Caribbean. And I invoke a lot of people in the poem, 
indigenous people, Taino people, Queen Anna Kwaona, and the liberators of Oh, mo, 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 mo. Yeah. Anna Kwaona, yes. Yeah, the liberators of Haiti, like Christophe and Desaline and so forth. And I have a poem on Akabera, which I'll send to you. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah. So the song that preceded was great. Why I felt I had to have laughed at that song. You remember I had to have it too? Yeah. Yeah. So here's a poem. What, what, what is this I hear? A thousand drums playing. Ratatatatatat, ratatatatat, and Max Roach conducting. Ratatam tam, tam tam, tam tam, trap drums, djembes, and congos, and the voices of a hundred archangels chanting into the wind. Ra ra, ra ra, scream the name of Dahomey. But this is Fort de France. Dahomey is on the other side of the ocean. What is this I hear? Rara drums awaken in the city. A dog howls. I look through the window. He dives into the sea and disappears while swimming to the other side of the harbor. Rara rhythms have remade the world. But this is not Haiti. How come these Rara people are marching all over Fort de France, sending vibrations into the earth, the air, the sky, answering secret rhythms with sacred rhythms? I am sure they are not mortal beings, but a celestial horde on the march with Baba Tunde, Ola Tunje, the sound of trap drums, sa sa ye sa sa ye in up to the hills to didier to trinel way up to the balata road to the volcano named montpele and from the peak of the hill the drummers and trumpeters look down onto the harbor look way past the horizon and beat their thoughts onto the air sending back the colonizer and indian killer desnam book to the deepest dungeon of france Recrowning Chateauier, beating the martial rhythms for triumphant Kalinago, for triumphant Carib warriors, reversing the slave trade, stitching whole again Africa. And in the distance, from the direction of Lamanta, I hear the pounding of hooves. Doom, doom, do doom, 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 doom. The earth trembles in unexpected bliss. I see clouds of brown dust spiraling up to the sky. I feel the hot breath of panting steeds rushing toward the city. Somewhere, there is a clash of cymbals. A gate opens. Mounted men holding a landscape of Osafo flags rush through. Sparks of fire rise from the horses' hooves. Who is this? What is this? The cavalry? led by the Maru named Matthew Leveille. From the savannah, the drummers advance, beating on a thousand drums, beating on horse and trumpets, bamboo sticks, shak, 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 shaking, not made by human hands. African captives at the bottom of slave ships, drowned in the shipwreck at Ascafar, and I hear them weeping, wailing, and gnashing their teeth, a fury of chains clanking as the ship crashed to the bottom of the sea, crashed on the rocks and sank to the bottom of the sea. Somber ghosts stand on the beach looking across the ocean. Take us back to Benin, take us back to Dahomey. Now they walk across the landscape at Diamond Rock, beating their chest and chanting a salt water dirge. Rara from Dahomey, Rara from Haiti, Rara from Martinique, Rara blowing onto the Caribbean Sea, towards St. Lucie and La Dominique, way up to the Virgin Islands and down to the tip of Venezuela, creating this archipelago of rhythms. And then a boy, 14 years old, pierces the air with the fury from his trumpet and suddenly the cacique, Bohichio, stirs from his sleep, rubs his eyes, grabs his conch shell, and blows a message to Hatoui, to Liverture, to Desaline, to Christophe, to Cecile Fatima. 
and Huracan blows his breath over the sea. Hurricane a come, hurricane a come, uno better run, hurricane a come. Meanwhile, Queen Anacaona, Empress of Hispaniola, stands on the tallest point of Haiti and begins to whirlwind. She begins to whirlwind. She begins to whirlwind a final dance for independence. Ra ra, ra ra, ra ra, ra ra. Thank you. I am speechless. I think I'm still in the tip of tip on the tip of Venezuela somewhere. <laughs> Marcus, you have anything you can say because I can't say nothing. Ra 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 ra. ra. Oh, ra. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm having goose pimples like all over in some unmentionable places. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Say something to Michael. Not Marcus, you just say that. Marcus, what a word. Marcus. Boy, long time, long time. Long time. This year, man. Boy, one of the long time supporters and participants in our Charleston celebration. So, yes, another wonderful poem. I mean, it's really interesting to see how you span, you know, writing in terms of what you do Woo academically and then the poetry, you know. Mm -hmm. I love how you always have that Jamaican accent, same way. Yeah, I think I'm course. getting right now. Okay, sorry, I seem to go on another journey. I just left the, left the tip of Venezuela, I'm now in Benin. So. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my sister, I cannot thank you enough. There are not words. Oh, you're most welcome. It was my pleasure. Of course. Now we do it virtual. I like the point about the Abeng being the first virtual <laughs> um, device mode of communication. God bless you guys. And you too, my sister. So we'll see you next year in, in, in real person life. Yeah, but me can't take that poem in. If you're going to set that poem in my presence, I'm going to have to move afar. Yeah, because and I feel and the energy on, of it. When you bring on the drummers, them and them. The, the no, 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 no. Me, you can't come. To, to, no, I was going to invite you to, to, to call next year, but you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> Too much power. I can't manage. You get, what, you get wild, man. You get wild. <laughs> no, well, put it in your diary. Put it in your agenda, sister. I am so grateful and I was so really, my, my spirit really just lifted. I sent her an email and she responded immediately. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes, the ancestors know what they want and you have proven them true. I am grateful. We thank you. Oh, you're most welcome. You guys have a great day. I should say it's great celebration. Yes, I'm a Dasipa. Dasipa. Yo. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Why? Wasn't that really powerful? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, I think I'm still in. Still no, 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 I'm eight. I'm in Haiti now. I'm getting back into the Caribbean. Oh, you're, yes. back up, yes. you're back up near to Jamaica. All right, cool. Yes, I'm back. I'll probably soon reach home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> sister. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. So who else is in the house today? Who else is in the house today? Do we have any?